always been skinny my entire life. In my entire life, I've had people telling me I need to eat a burger, I need to gain weight, and I'm too skinny. Ironically, it's mostly people who are overweight that tell me that, but regardless, it's something that stuck with me. So I went online and looked up a BMI and what I'm supposed to be, and as it turns out, I'm not underweight at all. Granted, I'm not too far from the line, but still, I'm a healthy weight. So then I started to realize that it wasn't that long ago that everyone was skinny. Only the richest people were overweight and obese because they could afford to eat all the super heavy foods. So if you're like me, and you're just tired of hearing people tell you to eat a freaking burger, or you're too skinny, then this video is for you. The point of this video is to prove to people that you can absolutely gain weight, get more than enough protein, more than enough calories, and feel and live healthy on a plant-based diet. I'm gonna do a chronometer breakdown next to every recipe I make today so that you can see the exact nutrition, make sure that it's gonna be right for you. If you need to tweak it a little bit, put a little more protein powder in, depending on what you're trying to get out of your diet. So this is actually gonna be a video series. I'm gonna do a lot of videos about vegan weight gain, so make sure you subscribe, hit the bell if you want notifications for when the next video comes out, and thumbs up if you like the videos. So let's get going. All right, so if you're on a weight gain, you're gonna find out pretty quickly that beans are your best friend. And my personal favorite way of getting some beans in me is hummus. So every week, my super beautiful and amazing wife makes me a big batch of hummus. And frankly, sometimes it doesn't last all week because I really like hummus. Um, I'm actually gonna put up on the screen a little comparison. I'm just gonna compare one full 15 ounce can of chickpeas to one high quality chicken breast. So if you look right here, we're actually getting 36 grams of protein from the can of chickpeas. And if we look at the chicken breast, we're only getting 27 grams of protein. And I didn't cheat here. This is a chicken breast from Whole Foods, uh, organic, the best one that I could find. So my snack are of hummus, chips, and baby carrots is actually getting me a lot more protein than I would get if I were just to be eating a chicken breast or something like that. I used to just have chips and hummus. Then I started doing some research into um, simple carbs and kind of discovered that this chip is doing me more harm than good, just raising my, um, my sodium level and trans fats. So I started dipping baby carrots and actually really, really love dipping baby carrots and hummus. You get some good beta carotene, you get other nice nutrients out of it. And uh, it's a great little, uh, it's a great little carriage for the hummus. Boom, see you guys at lunch. All right, well, if you subscribe to us and you've been watching our videos, first off, good on you, thank you. And um, about a month ago, we discovered that there's this bull. We named him Captain Jack and he lives right up the street from us and is not taken care of well at all. He had no water, um, no food last time we were there. And since then, you know, we got caught feeding him grass. So the owners put up a big fence and stuff. And he's right off the side of the road. So we can't help but like giving him a little bit of grass. We're not like going on anyone's property to get to him, but right. yeah. But anyway, um, a lot of you were concerned and told us that we should, you know, call the ASPCA or, or someone, some authority. Uh, so we have, and now we're going to check to see if anything has been done. So let's go see. This is our walk that we always take down this road. And this is where he's kept. Oh, he hears us already. Hey buddy. All right, so they pulled the fence back. So we're gonna see, it looks like there's something taped up here. What's that say? Animal cruelty. Aloha. Our officer received a call concerned about your bull standing in mud and no shelter from the rain. Please call me to discuss. Oh, wow. Okay. Hi, baby. Well, that's interesting. He's so sweet. He was acting like a dog or a cat. He was like licking my thighs and I was like scratching behind his ears. And he was like, you know that thing that like cats and dogs do where they like get up on you and they want you to like really go out their ears. I was doing that to him. He was like licking this, licking my thighs. And it's like, this is a bull. This is like, a lot of times people are scared of large animals like this, but he's such a little love. And he's freaking out over the 
grass like I was giving him the best treat of his life. And he pees and poops on that ground, so it's all covered in his feces and urine, and I'm sorry. Ugh. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, man. That's heartbreaking. <sighs> really hope they do something. We're trying, buddy. We're trying. We'll keep you guys updated. Come back and keep checking. So for lunch, I'm going super gourmet. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This honestly isn't about the bread, it isn't about the jelly. They're actually, the bread's simple carbs once again, so it's really not doing anything for me. This is about the peanut butter. We put a lot of peanut butter on this, and peanut butter is really, really high in protein, so cheers. I also have a dessert for you to try that also includes peanut butter. Would you like that as well? Um, yeah. So you know what? Let me just show you that. It's more interesting than a peanut butter and jelly. All right. So these are our delicious homemade cake pops. It's like a like a faux vegan cookie dough in the middle, um, covered in delicious semi-sweet chocolate. So I just got corrected by the chef herself. It's vegan cookie dough, dipped in delicious, super, super good chocolate. They're really, really good. And they're actually pretty heavy in protein too. So I'm gonna nosh on this. They're made from almonds, oats, peanut butter, and chocolate. We'll put the recipe in the description box. Make sure you check that out. And now, one of our good friends, Eric, told us about this super secret spot right by this place that we always go hiking at. If you've ever heard of Jaws, the famous surf spot, it's also known as Piahi, and there is this little farm called Piahi Farms. Apparently there's this secret path that takes you to this absolutely epic overlook, and he said we have to go check it out. So we're gonna go check it out, and then we're gonna come back for dinner. Let's see, let's see if it's as good as he says it is. Mmm. This is super good. And also, these are really cool. We have these on Amazon. We'll also put a link for these little uh, pop makers on Amazon as well. They're really cool. Okay, so there's the hut he was talking about. So it must be right over here. I think it's these little these little tracks right here. Well, let's see where it takes us. Let's go home and make some tacos. So I've really been enjoying doing kind of like fajita style build drone tacos where I just throw everything on the plate and then use like a tortilla I've ripped into pieces and just put it in there. But uh, I mean, you could easily build these, obviously, in the tortilla or a hard shell, whatever you prefer. Or sometimes we'll just do a taco salad with um, with chips. Actually, Zane is doing a taco salad tonight with greens. So uh, this is just how I like to do it. But this is an extremely high protein, high nutrition, calorically dense meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, and then stay tuned for a full chronometer nutritional breakdown of my entire day. 
so we can see uh, see just what we got. Okay, so here we are in the chronometer. I put in everything I ate today, hummus, fig bar, peanut butter and jelly, a protein smoothie, a cake pop, and tacos. Um, so let's see what we're looking at. It looks like we got 4,138 calories with a surplus of 2,100. So that's awesome. Um, we're working with 143.4 grams of protein. That's 112% my daily standard intake, which is awesome. A lot of that came from tacos, protein smoothie, hummus, and then it starts to kind of go down a little bit there, but that's more than enough protein for me to uh, put on some mass. All of my targets, I'm at 96% for all of my targets, which is pretty epic, to be honest. Uh, this is just a highlight of nutrition. So this is some things that I got a ton of um, really good stuff. I didn't quite didn't quite get all my B12, but you know, we take a B12 supplement just to make sure. Here's all our vitamins. It looks like we're covered on everything except for vitamin D. You know, we also take a vitamin D, a vegan vitamin D supplement. Um, and we spend a lot of time in the sun. So I know I personally get a lot of vitamin D, but don't look for vitamin D in your plant-based meals because it's really hard to find unless you're eating uh, mushrooms. You can actually find them in mushrooms, but I don't really care for mushrooms, so I just take a supplement. Let's scroll on down here. Here's our fats. There's no cholesterol in a plant-based diet, so all the fats are going to be good fats except for my trans fats. Um, that was from like the peanut butter and jelly sandwich and the, uh, the chips and stuff like that. Let's look at our minerals. It looks like I got a little too much sodium. And I'm guessing that's probably from, oops, I'm guessing that's probably from the tacos and the hummus. I don't know why it's not showing me. There we go. Yeah, hummus 87% and the tacos are 63% sodium. So if I wanted to cut back my sodium, I would, I would do no chips with the hummus. I would also probably cut out the faux meat that I had on the tacos and just do like um, black beans with no salt added. And that would take that down pretty drastically. All right, now proteins. This is what we're really interested in because this is a weight gain episode. So I'm at 120, 112%. Like I said, we have all of our micro proteins covered and we're looking good to go. Keep that diet up. You swole in no time as long as you team it with some exercise. Um, cardio is still very, very important even when you're gaining weight. So don't forget to ride your bike and go on a run as well as, uh, as lift some weights. So, thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for another What I Eat in a Day vegan weight gain video. See you guys next time. I guess I'll just have music over this part. New new. Little nay nay. So for lunch, I'm going I'll try that again. All right, Zane is posting an Instagram story. So if you're not following us on Instagram, it's actually at Living Zeal, which is our other channel's name, but be sure to check it out. The microphone wasn't on. Logistics. So this is the other side. It's uh, quite windy on this side. Testing out my high wind puff guards. You guys let me know if it works. But not too shabby over here. Could you not look at your phone for just one second? I'm just trying to get a shot. I'm trying to get a shot of you walking. Just put your phone away for just one second. this whole like peninsula. See there's ocean on all sides. And then that's that's where we came from. Wow. Not bad love. <laughs>